Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little bit about the attractor and as you might see I really do much work with my music on so I'm going to stay, it's going to stay for a while that if you don't like it please comment, I'll shut it up in the next tutorial. Oh. Now anyways, uh, what the attractor basically does is well, first off, I got a question on the major toes on how the attractor works. He didn't really know what it was. So, just create an emitter, just click here and it will create an emitter. And what I did with the emitter is an, I punched the birth rate editor up a lot to 229. And basically, what it does is emits particles. Well, really easy. What the attractor is, it's an effector for particles. So just click that, and we're gonna drag a little bit forward, like middle in our view right here. Now, if we scroll through time, as you can see, the effector does a couple of things. If we look closely to it, it first attracts particles to that point a little bit after the center. As you can see that. Bam. Bam. It's gonna get them on right there. As you can see. So it attracts, but after that, it really let it go its own way. Well, that's basically what the attractor does. It attracts particles together and shoot them away after the attraction so that that is what you see right here it shoots particles away after the attractor some go really fast some not uh, some go really slow that really depends on your settings on the object right here the speed limit if you put this to 800 or something it's not going really fast well, whatsoever, I'm not gonna really use this in my tutorials, I guess. I, uh. It's, it, it's, yeah. I don't know what to think about this. It's, uh, handy for something, for some things, but not really something I would use. So, if you can see, it is all oh, pretty interesting for, I don't know, jets or something, or a big fire. But that's something I should use. So yeah. Okay, that was basically it for the attractor. For next tutorial, see you guys later. Bye.